Every deck has its own legacy and position of power. Where does your deck fall among the rubble? Every two weeks, a tournament is played out, but for every archetype that makes it to the final stage, they are banished for the rest of the series. Who will be the last card standing? Entry open to all Twitch and Patreon subscribers. Details at discord.gg slash farfa. All right, meow, meow, meow. we got mutants versus Earth's Arctic. Oh boy, activate dimensional fissure. <laughs> Normal summon M05, add the mutant, mutant. Special summon, mutant, mutant. The best card in the deck. Banishing M05 and a keystone to special summon beast. Mutant, mutant, banishing, tributing, trap card for arsenal. Pay 3,000 for that, Jesus. Keystone adds it back, and we're going to set a mutant cry about it. All right. Okay, I don't know if that's good or not, but let's see what uh, our opponent's going to do. Here we got Big Dipper. We got Radiation. Is that the best card in the deck? It might be. Activate the effect of Beast. Banish a card from hand to what? Negate and banish this or something? Yes! A good card, finally. All right, we're going to activate Ursa Arctic Departure. Why don't you depart into another tournament where your deck is good, Earl? Sorry, that was mean. I love you, Earl. All right, we're gonna go Mick Polar tribute special summon Mick McDonald Polar, chain Arsenal here. What does Arsenal do? Is he the monster one? There's a trap one, there's a spell one, and there's also a monster one. Okay, negate and banish McDonald over here. Old Mick Polar had a farm, e i e i o, and on that farm he got banished. Why don't you mutant cry about it? Mutant synthesis. Activate the effect of mutant synthesis. Destroy a card on the field. Let's go! Mutants! Best deck, baby! Alright, very cool. God, I love that you're playing Witch of the Black Forest in this. That's just absolutely unhinged. Askator, pitching Call by the Grave. Uh, why are people playing Call by? This just, like, what are you gonna try to stop? Ogre? Like, is that it? Okay, Magic Dragon, Excavate Pfeiffer. We're hitting a Hop here, a Small World, a Skullmeister, a DD Crow. You're playing so many hand traps that don't do anything. Ah, Crimson Resonator. That's what we're looking for. Normal summon Crimson Resonator. Special summoning two Resonators from the deck here. Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, Abyss, Set, and Pass. I think uh, we're going to do a little spicy play here, aren't we? Although our opponent does have a, kind of a ridiculous uh, follow-up here. Um, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, Abyss. Uh, okay, my brother, you have a Dark Ruler no more uh, in your hand. Hello? 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 All right. Um, Synchro Call in, in exchange. Uh, we're going to target a uh, Resonator in the graveyard and immediately Synchro into Archfiend, Dragon, Calamity. But now the Dark Ruler no more resolves. So does this technically resolve because it doesn't activate? No, it doesn't. No, it does Yeah, this doesn't do anything. Good job. All right. It's fine. No one knows how to play against this deck. That's all right. Wow, paying half your life points to activate the effect of an Oyama Blue there. It also missed timing. Wow. Great. It also missed timing. That's so funny. So that was just wrong for like 10 reasons. That's beautiful. All right, what do we got here in main phase two? We're going to go to Ojama Simulation. Banishing, banishing into V, X, Y, Z, W. Tiger Catapult. Discard a card. Destroy. Oh, it puts in defense mode. That's... In Oh, that's dog grunt. That, that is that is swamp. <laughs> At least the old Jamach gives us free discard fodder. We're going to assimilate once again, revealing. Banishing all three to summon these? Oh, we don't have any pops now. Oh, okay. Uh, into XYZ Dragon Cannon. Banishing the trap card. Recycling the banished Oyamas. Drawing one card. Discarding one card. Destroying a card. Contact fusing into VXWYZ Dragon Take Catapult Cannon! <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. We actually summoned it. Holy crap. Oh my god. Crimson Resonator plus a witch. It's a Red Rising Dragon. Which is the Black Forest effect. What are you going to do? Search Maxi. Red Rising Dragon. Bring back a Resonator. Okay, we're going to clap back here, baby. Going into this, Witch of the Black Forest searches for a Wandering King Wildwind. Okay. Activate the Crimson, bring out two Resonators. Resonator effect, gain 3,000 life points. All right, just in case we're going into time here. Scarlight, Red Dragon, Archfiend, 
Another Red Rising Dragon. I don't know what this guy does. Is it like unaffected or anything? Does it do much? I guess we'll never know. Here is Vane. You were merely born into the darkness. I was bred by it. Here's Red Dragon Archfiend. Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend. He's got all three of them. Bat chest. He's got all three of them. Bat chest. Oh my god. That's so cool. Jack Atlas, master of faster, baby. With Red Dragon Archfiends to the moon. Oh my god. Storm forth me again, Margaret, and I'll kill your dog. Claudians. Finally. Every time I watch you play Claudians, you, you suck. suck. Chungus. Set pass? That's not enough. All right, we're playing good old monarchs here. Tenacity of the monarchs, revealing Erebus. Adding store for store for me again, Margaret. There it is. Solemn warning. Big solemn warning coming down here. Scaling this idiot, and it's once per turn to draw, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We're setting storm for. I don't know why. We don't have enough fodder. Sanctuary in the sky, set to... What is this? Diamond Dust Cycle... Oh, Jesus Christ. A monster with four or more fog counters, destroy it. And then draw one card for every fog fog counter that was on it. That's amazing. We can destroy our own Atlas and draw a card soon. Ah, it can't be destroyed! <laughs> He's a cloud! How do you punch clouds? How do you punch clouds, idiot? Let's go! Alright, divine punishment on Stormforth. That's not how we're outing it. Uh, okay, activate Aether here. Banishing Tenacity. Tributing over the Vanity's Fiend. Special summoning Erebus. Uh, sorry, uh, Margaret. That one. Special summoning Mobius? Is that a Morbius? Uh, okay, wait, did you just pass? I think you just realized you can't do anything here. Activate Stormforth. Oh my god, this is so unfair. This is, Stormforth is the literal counter to this lock. Can't be destroyed by battle. It's, it's the lock. And it's outed by Stormforth. That's so unfair. All right, what do we got? We're bringing back this idiot. We're flipping Fallen Sanctuary for Divine Punishment that we can't use this turn. Are we losing our Atlas? Wait, what? We didn't tribute the Atlas? Mega Morbius! No! He destroyed all of the cards! Oh, uh, the worst part of this duel was when Loop summoned Morbius and started morbing all over his opponent. Oh, God. All right, well, at least it's not destroyed. Come on. Come on, Atlas. Atlas in a dream. I believe that this is finally year for Claudian Claudians. Fog control. <laughs> Bro, put the card in defense. Put it in defense. But wait, hang on. This definitely... If this card is in face-up defense, this... Never mind. It would be too broken to be put in defense and to be not be destroyed about it. It would be too broken. What the hell did you just do? Oh my god, Stormforth Erebus me again, Margaret. No, not like this. Oh, Claudian's bad. How? Oh, why are they bad? But why are they not good? But why are they not good? Finally. All right. Our opponent's going to set Puny Penguin and a Cosmic Cyclone and pass. We're gonna go Foolish Burial Goods, send Claudian Aerosol, Normal Summon Turbulence. Turbulence! Gain some Fog Counters, remove a Fog Counter, go for the Smoke Ball into Link Spider. Claudian Aerosol, banish itself in a Smoke Ball, summon Royal Rare, Eye of the Typhoon! Let's go! <laughs> I don't know what it does, but it's here! Finally, the Claudian Sweep! Oh, I'm so happy. My life is absolutely complete now. I just, I am done. That's it. I, you don't need to do anything else. That's it. Everything's, everything's just, just done. That's it. All right. End phase, we're going to snipe a random back row here. Oof. Yikes. That's a freaking divine punishment, my guy. Kaiju on the eye of the typhoon. It's the eye of the typhoon. What does Claudian Squall do? Oh, it puts fog counters on everything. That's crazy. Wait, why didn't you use the squall after the area? Oh, it's it's a maintenance. It's a standby thing. Oh, Black Cluster Soldier? That's my favorite Claudian card. Wait, you didn't attack with the Black Cluster. You know this guy has an effect when it destroys things by battle, right? Okay, maybe Claudian isn't why you haven't been winning fought. I don't know. Maybe it's not a deck problem. Just, <laughs> I'm just I don't know. I'm putting that theory out there to the world, you know? Anyway, we're gonna squall. We're gonna put a fog counter on BLS here. Attack over no penguin. There we go. Now, nah, see, getting an effect here. Yeah, banish a card. Yeah, crazy. All right. If you're put a top deck tomorrow, you might be in a bit of a pickle. 
That's another no penguin. Oh my god. My face went penguins set and pass. Call the haunted, bring back. It's the eye of the typhoon. Is it game? Is it game? Is it game? Is it game? Oh, storm dragon. Storm dragon effect. What does that do? Put more fog counters. Let's go. Are you not going to use dust cloud or something? What is it? Draw card or something? Draw one for every fog counter. Yeah, you could have draw four there. Yo, can we play Cloudy and Exodia? I have the Typhoon for game, baby. I'm just happy we saw finally a victory from Cloudians. Oh my god, Derby Jason! I like to know Derby Jason! Okay, we're gonna go Illusion to Chaos for the rod here. Putting back the girl. Wow, you put back the woman, but not the other magician cards? So you keep the men in your hand, but you put back the girl. I see you, YouTube Ray. The whole world will know what you are truly like. Secrets of Dark Magic going into... Oh my god, Dark Magician! The Dragon Knight with the Royal Rare. Locking with the Eternal Soul. By the way, huge combo. Huge combo. Let's see you break my board. Don't you just punch this really hard or something? Ancient Gear Fortress. Gear Town. Catapult. Schedule. Overload Fusion. This just has to be like the best like five card hand, right? Like, there's no way like you can lose this, surely. This, this has to just be game. Ancient Gear Fusion. Gonna go into Ballista. Ballista sauce here adds, yep, box. No, oh, we're adding Gear Town. Okay. Add Gear Town. Uh, how do you pop this? You like catapult, destroy this? All right, destroy this. This guy's unaffected, but that doesn't matter because we wanted to resolve the Gear Town Grave effect to special summon Reactor Dragon. We're going to go into Overload Fusion here. Wait, there's no way that was the correct play. Wait, wasn't it this thing? Ancient Gear Fusion? Okay, punch it very hard. 1500. Oh, it does die? Wow, okay. Um, but. It doesn't matter because we just go rod for circle for soul for GG. Oh, we're going to go servant. Okay, well, shut the hell up, Farfa. Uh, we're going to go fusion deployment, summon Albaz. Albaz discard servant, fusing into mirror jade. Are we actually going to have to ban the uh, branded deck? Because Despia's banned, but not branded. Uh, th does this even have the... Okay, maybe we'll just have to ban every card with the word fall of an Albaz in the name now at this point. If he tops, you never know. Because, uh, oh boy, we bring him back. Star Magician, the Dragon Knight. Bah! Uh, is this game? Oh, Super Poly for something funny. Oh, animation, animation, animation. But I had to lock Dark Magician. Oh my God, it did the animation. Um, Monarchs uh, versus... Zombies? Wait, Alicia's on that. Oh my god, no way. Gozuki, send, Mizuki. Bring back Hajin, the winged Mayakashi. But how do you get to Bone Tower? Foolish. Zombie Reborn. Uh, wait, what? What the hell is this card? Wait, zombies just have a reborn? How consistent is this? Are you gonna top? Mayakashi FTK. Are you gonna top? Wait, there's no way. Aha, this is why you don't play 40 cards, you fools. This is why you don't play... Their X1? They topped Mayakashi FTK topped? Oh my god. This is the second week in a row. And FTK is top. Guys, there's been six ban lists. How are they still top? How is there an FTK? There's been six ban lists. All right. I mean, it's pretty simple of an FTK, isn't it? You just summon Bone Tower and then you start Mayakashi climbing. And every time you special summon a zombie, Bone Tower mills two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Uh, Yuki Ona, the Icicle Mayakashi. Bone Man. Bring back. Daki, mill two. We're down to seven cards here. Yuki Ona, the Absolute Maka Makakashi. Kaki. Ayakashi. Ah, but we can summon Prime. Have you considered summoning Prime? Bone Tower, Daki. Okay, one more summon. No! End phase. <laughs> what the hell okay i don't know how you've been how i don't know i okay i'm not surprised that the deck is alive but i'm surprised that you topped like how are you x1 with this all right what do we got we've got amazement muskets versus ritual kaiju ritual blue eyes ritual kaiju I mean, there's just so many broken uh, boss monsters in the game without targeting, uh, with targeting destruction and stuff like that. 
with Chaos Form, you're basically just playing the best deck in the... Okay, I don't know what you're doing here. There's Cybers cards. Uh, okay. Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. Linking away into Lingaribo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lingaribo's gonna say something racist. No. Extra Foolish Burial. Chaining Horror House, which does what? Forces the Lingaribo to set its... Uh, no, it doesn't set. It negates it? Is it Fiendish Chain? I think it's negated or something, isn't it? Anyway, here's uh, Chaos Max Dragon. We're gonna go Chaos Form here. Banishing Blue Eyes to Special Summon Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Wait a minute. I see your entire strategy. That's the entire point of your strategy. You give your opponent a zero defense monster and then you one shot them with blue eyes. That is so dog shit. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. What an incredible strat. And it works through chicken game because you one shot them. We got Dargan Maids versus the uh, the Grave deck. All right, we're going to go first with Grave Keepers. We're going to draw two cards with Pod D. And oh my god, there's no way. Are you just going to. You're just going to Royal Tribute your opponent, aren't you? Oh, they hit Necro Valley! Wait, Throne? Wait, you just added Throne. Why did you add the third Throne? Well, it doesn't freaking matter, does it? Because we're resolving it, baby. All right, activate Royal Tribute, <laughs> discard four, <laughs> draw three into two more Royal Tributes. That's hilarious. Okay. All right, pass it over. What do we got here? Oh, we got two Reborn spells to be fair. Oh, but Necro Valley, of course. That's the entire point. Oh my God, that's so dumb. Oh, no way. You just cheesed your way into a top eight like this. Stanley didn't even get to play the game. Oh, come on. He literally didn't play the game. Uh, I like that you royal tributed again, just in case they drew a monster, yeah? All right, end phase, we search for commandant. Uh, I guess that's just game on board if our opponent doesn't draw something here. All right, nurse. <laughs> nurse under gravekeepers. Hmm. Necro Valley. No, how could this happen? Okay, we're going to throw in here into... I don't even know what that is. Priestess. Uh, gravekeepers gain attack? Okay, all right. Uh, well, one more turn here. One more search as well. We're gonna go for Hidden Temple. Don't know why we didn't do that last turn, honestly. That's like the only way they uh, do anything. Red MD. Uh, we're gonna activate Guard Dragon. And I like that you managed to bait them into negating your Monster Reborn while Necro Valley's on the field. You actually used Imperial Tomb. You c clown! There you go. See, that's what happens. Share if you play! Share if you play! Top 8. Welcome everyone to top 4 of the last card standing. We've got Share if you play versus Monarchs. We're watching this one live. Alright, did we win the dice roll for the third top cut game in a row? And did we also open Necro Valley Royal Tribute? Okay, we lost the dice roll. I mean, you had to run out of luck eventually. Here we go. Desires plus Pan Escalation. Drawing two cards, alright. Get a pantheism reveal, and I don't know what the game plan is against Gravekeepers, honestly. Uh, just try and keep them off of Necro Valley. That card is pretty good against Monarchs. Uh, what do we tenacity for there? We added an another pan here. We're gonna pan prime. Look at these pluses. Look at these hardcore pluses here. Idea for Idos plus field spell. Not bad. All right, tributing who? Majesty's Fiend. Hmm. Is that enough for share if you play? Is it enough? Let's see. Okay, well, first of all, we got Necro Valley. That's that's pretty good. We're turning off, like, a lot of cards immediately just with Necro Valley. Gonna chain the Prime here. Which uh, is an interesting card because it is uh, very reminiscent of Twitch Prime, which is a service that you can use to subscribe to various streamers on Twitch. You actually opened it! You actually did open it! Royal Tribute Necro Valley! But the only piece of the puzzle missing was winning the dice roll. And you would have won. That's insane. I- that's actually- I'm, bl I'm blown away. I like that you didn't go to the battle phase first, and now you just lost uh, free damage on uh, Demise there. Okay. Alright, that's unfortunate. Right, battle phase attack over the uh, commandant. We're using Necro Valley Temple. What does that do? Oh my god! It, it does nothing, apparently? Okay. It just didn't do anything. Uh, I think you got the maths on that wrong, apparently. Oh, I think it's because the Domain of the True Monarch is what boosted it back up after it lost attack points. Brackhead! Oh, Monarchs Erupt. Do you think Gravekeepers have monster effects? Look at this Joker. He just he flipped Erupt against Gravekeeper. <laughs> you absolute fool. That was your first mistake. You thought you thought this deck had card effects. Oh, God. Silly Monarch player. 
All right, Monarch's trying to perform a tribute summon through Necro Valley. Challenge impossible. Let's see it. Let's see it. We're going to special this, but okay, that's something. Striking the summon. I mean, I guess, like, you have to. Otherwise, your opponent gets tribute fodder. All right. Um, draw off a turn here. If we see some monsters, we can go into some beatdown plays. Nope, doesn't look like it. We're just going to go for 21. Remember, the Majesty Fiend can't attack because of the restriction on Crackhead. Just keep him off of the tribute fodder, and you'll be fine here. Necro Valley is keeping in check. The Twitch Prime. The Eidos, the Pan. A lot of cards just randomly lose to uh, Monarchs. Uh, lose to Necro Valley and Monarchs. And we drew a Spiritualist. That's our fusion play. Are we going to go for it? We are not going to fuse. Okay. Uh, fair. I mean, I guess you'd rather put your opponent on a clock here. Set and pass, set and pass, set and pass. All right. One more top deck normal monster. You might have it. Battle phase doesn't have it. Okay. Attack it over that Eidos. Necro Valley is absolutely crippling you right now. And setting... And here it is, last turn basically, to turn this around. Stormforth, Judgment! Oh! No, old man say no, old man say no. That's so bad, that's so bad. Oh, it's over, it's all over now. All right, we're reducing the monster in our hand to six, so that's Morbius. Second Stormforth, Tribute, Effect, Destroy three cards. Oh, we're back in it, boys. We're back in it. All right. Get a Necro Valley thrown for free from the temple here. Idos effect in the graveyard. Vanishing to special summon back Idea. Now we get to use Pan. Pan gonna search for something. Double Storm 4. First one negated by the Solemn Judgment. Absolutely insane. Battle phase attack over. Storming Mirror Force! St Storm 4? More like Storming Mirror Force, you absolute fool! You fool! I can't believe you played into that. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Our Gravekeeper is gonna finish this one out here. We can summon back the Twitch Prime, remember? So, I mean, we don't die, I think. Adds back Prime, uh, Pan with the idea here. Battle phase attack directly. Prime in the damage step, or battle phase rather. Coming itself up. 24 defensive wall. In a bit of a scary situation here. We're gonna go Nightmare Cerberus. Ah! Seriously? Okay, I mean, that doesn't do anything though. They just bring it back next turn with just the level summon again. Yep, yeah, that wasn't the play. You should have been, uh, you should have been fusing. You should have been fusing. I think it's over. I think the Gravekeeper dream is over. I don't know how you how you win from here. You just tribute over in game. Unless you just didn't draw a Monarch. I mean, but there it is. Yeah, obviously the Stormforth bounced it back to the hand. The Storming. Banish the idea, bring back idea. And return the monarchs. We're just a level. Tribute over. Majesty's Fiend. Return the monarchs and idea. We get a search and we get our resource back to our hand here. And I don't know. 1700 damage we were not that far off i mean you're gonna have to draw like some crazy trap cards i suppose to stay in this game here attacks over the nightmare servers instead of the commandant i feel like that might be wrong but let's see if it gets punished set and pass here draw for turn what can you possibly do against this set two cards okay trap cards is what we needed okay all right um crackdown i mean stealing monsters and attacking over is probably the play don't want to let your opponent tribute into Mega Morbius and pop two, but they still have a way to tribute summon. That's the issue. Yep, Stormforth me again, Margaret. There it is. Stormforth, tribute over the Gravekeeper's Commandant. One singular tribute, Mega Morbius. Mega Morbius pop the face down and crack down, unless this is a solemn strike, which I don't even think works because you can go chain link one return. Okay, we're not playing around strike. Oh, also strike doesn't work because of uh, the life point. And there it is! No! Gravekeeper's lost! We could have had a Morbius Mayakashi FTK final. Unbelievable. Okay, uh, Mayakashi is that combo? That looks pretty good. Oh, we lost the dice roll! <laughs> no! That was just combo. That was just FTK, right? Oh, that's so unfortunate. All right, uh, what can Monarch set up here, though? Basically, as long as they tribute summon and then activate domain, I don't know how you win this. Both of them work. All right, we're gonna go for Erupt. I guess Erupt is better than domain, but now we've got Vanity's Fiend on the field, so, uh, yep. Little quick one here, I think. Epic game one. Epic game one. Can we do anything? Does this, like, actually do anything? Mayakashi return. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, weird. Oh, no. Oh, 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 you got FD. You got... So FTK'd by Mora Corrupt plus Vanity's Fiend that broke the duel. All right, what you got for me here? Um, is that just combo? 
Alicia's going first. Jack in the hand. Uh, revealing Bloom plus the Hajun. I think you always take Hajun. Normal summon Hajun. Had it anyway, baby. Into Daki. Special summon, send Bone Tower. Reborn the Bone Tower and... Damn, what a coin flip, huh? Damn, this, what a crazy grand final. <laughs> well, that's just the combo. That's the FTK. So now, um, Loop's gonna go first in game three and Loop's gonna brick because he's playing Monarchs. Look, just watch this. Oh my god, they opened pan. Never mind, they didn't brick. Monarchs don't do this. How do you not brick for three games? Come on. I played 2016 format. I remember Monarchs. You're not supposed to have playable hands. Pan Prime? Oh my god. Wow. That's almost as incredible as being able to use Pan Prime for Twitch Prime, which is the ability to allow you to subscribe to your favorite streamer on Twitch completely for free by connecting your Twitch and Amazon accounts. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, Alicia, you definitely cited an evenly match, right? Right? I mean, ma main decked it. Yeah, you definitely main decked evenly match, correct? All right, uh, we're gonna go Aether Effect, uh, Return, get a search here. I don't know why you never use Return as Chainlink 2. I, I just find that so weird. You always return Chainlink 2 to pray around the Monarch getting uh, popped in some way. But anyway, it really doesn't matter. This is just GG. This is just like beyond game. Yeah, Monarch is not a fun deck. But then again, neither is Mayakashi FTK. So at least Mayakashi FTK is funnier to watch. Okay, so for those of you who aren't aware, while you have no cards in your extra deck and you are the only player that controls a tribute summon monster, your opponent cannot special monsters from their extra deck. So as long as uh, Aether stands tall and strong, we're basically not going into our extra deck, which seems kind of kind of bad when you're playing Mayakashi. I don't know. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not an expert on this deck, but I feel like you probably want to use your extra deck. But listen, I'm just spitballing here, you know? Like what do I know? God, it looks so weird when you give your opponent your own sleeve. Look at that. Reveal, reveal, add, and then face down. Yeah, it literally doesn't tell us. Is this one of those uh, Hajun moments again that you... Uh... Oh, and you've got Erupt! What a great final! Yo, best of seven, bro. Bro, best of seven, bro. Bro, bro, best of seven, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Um, well, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you had a great uh, experience watching... If you want to take part in the LCS, it's a Patreon sub for only $3 a month, as well as a Twitch Prime. Or not as well, you can one or the other. You can Twitch Prime for free, you can Twitch sub for only $5 a month, join the streams, have a great time, have an amazing community, Discord access, all the sub, blah, 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 blah. Why are they still playing? I don't know. Alicia, why are you still playing? Oh. <laughs> Yo, ciao. ciao. Welcome back to the outro. This time we're taking a look at the top decks from this week. Thank you so much for taking part in this series. For those of you who did join, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then thank you so much as well. We have never had a deck hit three individual top cut spots. We've got Melfi. This right here. The agenda. The furry agenda. Look at look look look, look at it staring at you. It is the best, most powerful deck in the history of the LCS because it's had the most dominant top cut spots. Other than that, uh, we've got a couple of doubling here with Infernoid. I would never have expected, I guess, Infernoid to be the second best deck. Monarch, I think I absolutely 100% would have seen this. So anyway, everything else is, uh, you know, you guys have probably uh, seen a lot of this in action already throughout this video. And uh, if you haven't already, you probably already know how the deck functions. But crazy to see that Utopia less Utopia, which uh, is a deck that utilizes the boss monster Utopia, not needing Utopia to be uh, dominant. So... Top cut there was uh, pretty cool. Anyway, this is your uh, your breakdown. Thanks again for uh, watching. These are obviously all going to be banned uh, in LCS 7. So I'll see you in two weeks' time to tune in for that. Thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, adios.